Hello, uh, Bob Watson's my name. I'm a fertility specialist with the Queensland Fertility Group at Northwest at Everton Park. Uh, welcome to Fertile Minds. I'd like to give you a quick chat about ovulation induction. Ovulation is a reflection of the health of your body. You'll basically know whether you're ovulating or not as to whether you, if you have a regular menstrual cycle. The simple rule is if your periods are regular, then you're probably ovulating. Sometimes a lack of ovulation can be a reflection of the general health of your body. Sometimes it can be that you're exercising too much, you're too thin. Sometimes it's, a, it's, it's the opposite. It's a weight problem perhaps related to polycystic ovarian syndrome. Some people are just unlucky and they just don't ovulate for no reason at all. When we're approaching ovulation induction, we first of all want to make sure that you have no thyroid problem, no prolactin, no endocrine problem. We want to make sure that your general health is as good as possible. Um, we'd move on then to helping you with uh, medications. There are, there are two common oral medications which are commonly used and very simple to use. Both of these trick the brain into thinking that there's not much egg formation, there's not much oestrogen in your body. These are clomiphene and, and letrozole. Uh, these medications are both taken at the very beginning of the cycle to kickstart the, the body towards ovulation. Uh, these work well uh, in many, many women and often this is all you need. For women with polycystic ovarian syndrome, quite often we add in medications such as metformin. Metformin is a diabetic medication which basically helps you lose weight. All of these medications are fairly well tolerated. Clomiphene can cause a few hot flushes and metformin can cause a bit of gas and sometimes a bit of diarrhoea. Uh, maybe that's why it helps you lose weight. Um, but, but also we have to be very mindful, particularly with clomiphene, of it causing a multiple pregnancy. Many, many women in, uh, in the fertility game feel uh, we'd be very happy to have twins, but in fact the reality is uh, sometimes much more difficult. So for some women we have to move on to ovulation induction with follicle stimulating hormone injections. Now this is, these are medications that are given with a pen. It's very easy, it's like an EpiPen. Children give themselves this sort of medication. So it's, the needle's tiny. Many women fear needles, but it's really quite easy. So you give this injection yourself usually every day and we monitor it carefully by doing blood tests and serial scans. If you're on FSH, you may need to have a scan or a blood test two or three times a week. Again, the, the main risk here is multiple pregnancy. The risk with, uh, of a multiple pregnancy with, with FSH injections is up to one in five. We've, many uh, clinics would find that unacceptably high. We're really trying to avoid multiple pregnancies. When considering the type of treatment that we choose for you, or you choose for yourself, um, we have to consider the success rate, uh, your particular circumstances uh, and, and how available uh, you are and how, how easy it is for you to come to the clinic. Uh, of course, costs involved. Generally, these treatments are fairly cost effective. They're fairly cheap compared to uh, other medications. Um, the success rate with clomiphene letrozole tablets is about 20% per cycle. The success rate with FSH injections can be higher, uh, sometimes 20-25%. Um, so, as much as possible, we try and individualise your circumstances. It's important that you have a good working relationship with your specialist, that you communicate what you feel and what you want out of the, your experience. Sometimes uh, these treatments are uh, unsuccessful and we have to move on to more invasive things. So, whatever you do, work, work hard, stay happy, stay fit, keep, keep your mind on the, on the ultimate goal, which is to have a baby, and good luck.